Wouldn't it be amazing to get signups in the next 90 days over and over and over again? Heck yeah! <laughs> everyone, it's Lisa Torres here. Welcome to this video. Today I want to share with you five prospecting sales tips that will help you get more signups over the next 90 days. So the very first thing that you're going to have to start doing, like starting immediately, is to start creating curiosity posts. You see what most network marketers are doing is they are going out on social media and they're just blatantly plastering images of their you know products and they're talking about their services and how great it is and the comp plan and all of this stuff blatantly exposing what the company is and leaving no room for curiosity so in order to start having some really major success you have to start implementing curiosity. What do I mean about curiosity? Well, let me give you an example. So here's an assignment that I want to give to you right now. So after I review what it is, go and pause this video, go do it, and then come back and finish watching this video. What I want you to do is I want you to go to your Facebook wall and I want you to type this in and fill in the blank. Okay. So here it goes. If I can show you how to do blank in the next blank without blank, would you be interested? Type yes below and I'll show you how. You see how simple that is? So if I, let me give you an example. If I wanted to, to promote a shake, let's say for example, and so instead of saying, oh, look at my shake, here's my shake, go buy it now, what I would do is I would say, if I can show you how to lose 10 pounds in the next 30 days without killing yourself during a workout, would you be interested? Type yes below and I'll show you how. Pretty simple. Number two, free giveaway content. Start giving stuff out for free. Start creating content that will attract your target market and start giving it away for free. Remember in last week's video where we talked about collecting a name, email, and phone number? Start doing that. Last week we talked about creating mini funnels to start generating leads and sales. And if you didn't watch that video, you can catch it down below. I'll leave the link right below this one. So number three is to ask for the name email and phone number. Number four, follow up. So these people are giving you their name, their email and their phone number, but what are you doing with them? Most people will just let it sit there and say, mm, I don't know what to send to my list, right? Cause now they're on your list and you don't know what to say. Well, guess what? Start talking to your prospects. They're on your list. They gave you their name. They gave you their email address. They gave you their phone number in exchange for that freebie. Go and connect with those people. Now it's called follow up. And remember, the fortune is in the follow-up. And finally, number five, ask for the sale. So for example, let's say all week, Monday through Thursday, you were, you know, just adding value, just, you know, just putting massive value uh, on social media, sending massive value to your list. And then now Friday comes, now it's time for the pitch. So you've added this major value and now you want a sale. Most people will just sit there and wait for the sale to come in. But what you really need to start doing is asking for the sale. Tell them to buy why they need to buy. That's the point where you can start talking about all the benefits and things that they're going to be getting. So start asking for the sale. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it, comment, subscribe to this channel, uh, like my fan page. If you're watching it on my fan page, and go ahead and pick up my free video on how to do cold market prospecting on social media. You can grab it right here at lisatorresspeaks.com forward slash freebie eight. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.